Hey everyone, it's Nicole from Baby to Sleep. So I'm back in Costa on Saturday mornings in between pickups and drop offs between dancing and drama for Sophia and Alessia. Um, so we are going to kick off just very quickly with um, an update of what happened with Alessia's first nap in the bed um, and how last night went. And I've got to say, I am so grateful for last night because it went so much better. So how things were yesterday? Well, I had a very, very, very tired Alicia yesterday morning. We went to a play group, first time she's been to a play group and she actually had a really great time, but then she was just a little bit too wired. Uh, she couldn't seem to control her emotions and such. She was just really kind of, she was just on one really. And then it was like, right, I want to leave now. So we said, like, okay, let's go. And then she decided to wanted to go back and play. I was like, no, 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 we're not doing that. You're not saying, I want to go, I want to go back. We're not getting into that mix. Um, you've said you want to leave, we're leaving. We've left, we're not going back. And also she was knackered and it was time for a nap. Um, you know, and you can just tell when your child becomes really sort of like, ah. <laughs> um, so that's where we were. So then we had the fight of getting in the car seat, which is great fun. I really love that fight. Um, I'm at the point where I'm starting to blow raspberries on her tummy just to try and get her in, because at least if I'm blowing raspberries on her tummy, her body is then kind of <laughs> becomes incapable of fighting as much because she's been tickled. So that's the only way I can manage it at the moment, sort of blow raspberries on her tummy while I'm actually trying to sort of get her into the car seat. It's great fun, I've got to say. People must think you're attacking your child or something. They're like, no, I'm just trying to get them in the car seat. Um, it's great fun. Uh, so yes, we got home and it was time for a nap. She didn't want a story. She didn't want a nap. She was mega, mega tired. She was screaming at me and everything. It was just, it was horrible, absolutely horrible. And I thought she needs to calm down because what was actually driving all this was that her cortisol levels were just that high because she was overtired, she was overstimulated, she was completely wired and there was just no way at all she was going to go from ah, to I'm going to go to sleep. Just not going to happen. So she needed some help. She wasn't in for the whole cuddling into me so she wouldn't come near me for that. She was just, she was hitting me. She was just in a bad place. Um, so I thought right, this isn't what I want to do continuously. But for right now, this is the first time she's having a nap in her bed. I need it to happen. Um, I got into the bed with her and I just lay on top of the duvet and I just held her. Um, I just held her while she was there. And do you know what? She settled and she went to sleep. So I was like, yes. It wasn't the best nap in the world. It was an hour and 15, but I'll take an hour and 15 over nothing. Especially since she'd been up since 10 past five in the morning. Um, so yeah, I took that and I thought, right, that'll be it. I'll take her up early tonight and I'll have her asleep for six. That was my plan, asleep for six, because she tends to be on an early body clock anyway. So that's not too bad. I thought that'll work absolutely fine. And we did the whole thing. We did bedtime um, and she was just basically screaming again. She hasn't had a bedtime story now for nights because she's just, she's just not there. She's just kicking off and she's just not happy. So I managed to obviously wind her down um, and then obviously we get her into bed and we're talking about going to sleep and I, she st then she starts patting the bed going, lie down. I went, no, sweetheart, lie down. She's going, no. So mummy will go sit over there. If you saw yesterday's video, was it yesterday's or the day before? I showed you where I sort of hide. So it's right by the door behind the chest of drawers. So she can't actually see me. So she doesn't actually know if I'm there or if I'm not there. Um, it's just, that's where I go to make sure she's not getting out and legging it around the room. Um, and also it just means I can sort of say shh if I need to and she knows where I am. Um, but then she's lying there and she's doing the whole bogeys, bogeys. I'm like, okay, I'll go get some tissue, blow your nose, because she'd been crying. Obviously she'd got all the snot going. We had the cowpole plugging in as well. Um, oh, we'd had a massive screaming fest nappy changes yesterday as well. We had two of the most horrendous nappy changes where she screamed and screamed and screamed. Um, I've had another one this morning where she's just flying all over, but she, her bum is red raw. I don't know what is going on with her bum at the moment. She's bright red and really sore. Um, and she just, she's like screaming, ow, when you're actually changing her. So I need to sort that out. I need to get something from that. I'm going to pop to the chemist this morning. I've been putting Sudocreme on, but then she just laughs because she thinks it's funny and it tickles. And then she tries to put a hand in it. And you go, oh, not Sudocreme. <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, <coughs> 
so yeah so that's always good fun um so on to how the night oh that was one thing i did as well because i thought right she's actually quite settled now i need to get some stuff done because i needed to get um sophia's self tape done last night as well but i was also very much aware that she needed an early night because she was extremely tired she'd had a little mishap in school and i'd, I'd actually said to the teacher that morning i think she's going to be really tired because she's had a couple of early starts because Alyssa has gone into the room with her. So I thought Sophia needs an early night as well, but we've got to get this self tape done. I was like, ah. So I bought this new ring light thing and a new tripod and whatnot. So I had to sort of figure out how to all get all that set up. Um, so I thought I can't actually sit in here any longer. So because she was settled, I managed to sort of sneak out. But because of where I was, the sound from doing a shush if I kept the door open slightly was exactly the same as it would have been if I was like a foot closer just in the room so it made no difference so she didn't know I wasn't in there um so I was able to get the ring light set up and I just kept an eye on the monitor and just kept popping back to the door and going it's okay sweetheart you're doing really good go to sleep it's all good and she did she went to sleep we went downstairs we did Sophia self tape and I've got to say she was brilliant she was absolutely fantastic she surprised both of us I think even she was surprised she did really really well um <coughs> and we got her to bed she was knackered so we managed to read a story in bed again, which was great because Alicia stayed asleep. So Sophia still got her story in her bed, which was nice. Um, and she went to sleep, so all was great. And with regards to how the night went, surprisingly well. Um, I even did um, a nappy change on Alicia when I went to bed because I thought if she's got a sore bum and a nappy was already quite full, I thought she's not going to want to be in that all night because it's going to be hurting her. So I managed to actually change a nappy on the bed while she was asleep. So I was like, yes, that's brilliant. That's never happened before. She always wakes up if I actually normally even move her slightly, she wakes up. So she's asleep is so much better. She's getting into a deeper sleep, which is brilliant. Um, and that was it. I didn't hear anything off her until 10, was it 10 to five this morning? So she'd done just shy of 11 hours. And it was so funny because I was in bed and what's happened the previous two days is Sophia's come in saying, Alicia wants you. So I heard somebody come in and I thought it was Sophia. So I went, Sophia, does Alicia want me? And I just heard this little from right next to me. Yes, it was Alicia. <laughs> jumped, me, jumped out of my skin. <laughs> so I thought Sophia was by the door. I thought I'd seen a shadow by the door and I thought that was Sophia. And it wasn't, it was Alicia, um, it was Alicia right next to me in the bed. So cute though. And Sophia was fast asleep, which was brilliant. So I thought, right, what's what's my plan of action here? Because I don't want to disturb Sophia's sleep. I don't want to kick off. I took her back to her bed and I thought, Do you know what? I'm going to just get into the bed with Alicia and see if we can actually get her to sort of go to sleep. It took ages, but it did happen. She went back to sleep, which is, given the fact she'd had nearly 11 hours sleep, was absolutely fantastic. Um, I wasn't expecting her to go back off at all. So that was really, really good and she then got woken up it was a bit hairy to be fair at points because i could hear sophia stirring because it was you know it was like oh gosh are we going to wake sophia up and oh it wasn't very good i went back to bed next thing you know 20 past six sophia comes in and she just ends up accidentally waking up alessia but they'd both had a decent night's sleep so that's really really good really really positive and they were both, both got into bed this morning they were having cuddles together and they were watching the tablet together and playing games and it was really really nice so all in all, a much better night um, and two much less tired children and a less tired mummy as well. So that's always good. I'll let you know um, if there's any um, anything I need to let you know tomorrow. If there's nothing really excitingly new, um, I won't bother with doing a video tomorrow, but otherwise I'll just keep you updated now because we seem to be at a point where things might be all right. Don't want to tempt fate because last time I said that, that I said we'd go on to every other day or whatever. She decided to throw a big spanner in the works and decide to go into the bed unexpectedly. So let's just see what happens. But she is full of a cold, so anything can happen really. Um, but I'll just keep you updated as and when anything changes or I think that would be useful for you to know. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. I will see. Oh, and by the way, if you do need my help, check out the face the website babytosleep.co.uk. Um, and you've got all the online courses. You've got one-to-one -one support. You've got all my free stuff here over on the YouTube channel. So all the nap transitions and um, loads and loads of free information. So just go and have a look. Um, you know, right from birth, right through to sort of what I do now with the online courses with the behaviour and sleep support guide. Loads and loads and loads of information, loads of help. Um, so go and have a look and you can find me on Facebook every Monday night for our live Q&As and I will answer any questions you've got on your baby and child's sleep. Right, I'll see you later. Bye.